What's good, world? It's your boy B down with my main man right here. Shout out to this is what they don't see. I need some of that gear. I gotta start rocking this Nike and stuff. I need some of that, man. Give me your right. Thank you, bro. Yeah, shoot me a text. Yeah, I promise you. Then I'm off I got swag for sale, but you might can't afford it. I'ma pay the price. I don't care what the cost is. Nigga, I be saucing. Get into the money. Closet full of foreigns. I don't do no Jordans. Walking with a baddie, make a nigga feel important. What's up, y'all? I know y'all trying to figure out, like, yo, Matt, where you at? Well, here's a brief overview of what I've done in the world, all right? Check it out. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All right. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wish. Touchdown in Orlando. Florida, 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 show me love, show me love, show me love. Show the city boys what it's like. Yeah, dig. Palm trees, my brother. <laughs> you want these tulips and flowers, my brother? <laughs> But I'm waiting for tonight. Oh. <laughs> okay, at the dealership, gotta get a car. <laughs> Look at the bad boy I picked out, y'all. Look at this thing. Look at it. Oh. Jeez. That's how you gotta move in Florida. All right, so we in Walmart with it. I'm out here for a couple of days. Playlist Live Orlando 2019. You dig? Oh, get some chips. That one was moving too slow. I gotta go find me another one. I gotta find me one that's fully charged. Fully charged. How you doing? Good. I'm alright. I can try one? You can try all of them. All of them? You can eat every single one of them. <laughs> uh, it's the caveman brand. Mm -hmm. So that means it doesn't have any gluten, uh, no grains, no artificial flavors. It's all legit. That was really good. You about to have 10 grams of protein. <laughs> <laughs> This line right here? Yeah. Appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> I got you. Okay. 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 Nah, I appreciate you. I appreciate okay. you, sweetheart. Look, I'm a size six and a half. Baby. Six and a half? Yeah. All right, I'm a size ten and a half. I don't know if these can fit you. That's okay. I'm <laughs> stuffing with you. I <laughs> got you. Got you. Okay. Thank you, love. Now that y'all back at it, y'all already see why I'm at Playlist Live with it. Orlando 2019. Yo, I plan on having a great time, great networking. I'm not big on meetups and all that because I don't really know nobody. But, man, I'm going to try to have a great, great, great time. Y'all want to see the view? Do y'all want to see the view? Look at this. View. Oh my god, yo. Look at this view. And I'm here, rocking all day. Chillin' Orlando, what you got to say? About to go crazy, what you wanna do? And may teach you H -E -W -O -U. you. <laughs> Try and make y'all comfortable. For the How you doing, sir? This is for me? Yep. Thank you. Thank you That's so much. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, basically, if you try to figure out what happens at playlist, you guys have to wait in a long line to get your, you know, get your little uh, pamphlets to know who you are. I see that royalty. They give you a clear plastic bag just to make sure that you got no, no bad items. You know, you bad guys out there. But beyond that, it's type lit. You know, everybody coming up to me like, hey, Odell, Odell. 
You love your shoes. I see the kick. But it's pretty cool. I'm on vacation. I'm gonna be in my vlog. Say hi. What else? Uh, you said she's I know for a fact I want a, a milkshake. Oh Oreo. What do you mean? What? Ain't Oreos cookies and cream? Now give me cookies. Give me cookies. Give me cookies. Yo, let's put them on that. Yeah, you try to be spicy, okay? Uh, <laughs> um, you get, you get, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. 33? Yeah, that's me, love. Yeah. Thank you. Orlando, day two. What's up, y'all? Early in the morning. It's like 8 o'clock. Currently, I play this live. My first panel. First person here. Oh. I don't know what to expect, but it's supposed to help me become a better YouTuber, so I'm gonna stick with it. I ask as many questions. Got my notebook with me. Early bird gets the worm. Early bird gets the worm. Feel me? All right. They can help you shoot some content maybe for your, it's like nothing. Another red flag, just one more right here. Okay, big question. Um. I feel like I have really good content. Like, I feel like, I mean, of course, every YouTuber feels like they have really good content. I feel like I put out a lot, a lot of good videos, and um, I don't want to trend chase. That's not what my channel's about. That's not who I want to be. I don't want to be one of the YouTubers that's just trying to get, like, a, a, a big video. Um, but I don't want the gems that I'm putting out now to get lost in my channel as time goes on. Like, you know, so do you have any advice as far as, I guess, for that? Yeah, that's really tough, too, because, uh, you know, when I started really taking YouTube serious, sometimes I would come up with an idea that I was sure was an amazing idea that I thought everyone was going to love, and it just kind of flopped. And they, I, I'm like, oh, I got underappreciated, you know, that that's my baby, I worked really hard on that. But um, it's going to happen, man. It's, it's crazy. I would say, uh, words of Mr. Beast. Somebody who's killing it on YouTube harder than anyone else right now. <laughs> Base your content around your title and thumbnails. I think that if you believe that you have really good content and you spent a lot of time to make really good content, mm -hmm. exaggerate the title and the thumbnail as much as you want. Because people will get mad at you if you clickbait them and they come and your video is garbage. Yeah. But if you worked really hard on a video, and it's genuinely good content, clickbait is okay sometimes. You okay. Know? okay. That's what I've learned. Uh, so it's, it's really important. Sometimes people rush their titles and rush their thumbnails. I think you should put a lot of time into perfecting your titles, into perfecting your thumbnails, and then building the content around that. You know, some people will get scared, like, ah, oh, man, it's old, everyone's seen it. Everyone has not seen it. Everyone has not seen it. And you have to think about the millions of people that are, the billions of people that are out there that are just getting on Facebook or an Instagram for the first time. Okay, um, I just started YouTubing about 11 months ago. Um, I dove, yeah, I, I dove, I quit. I quit, I quit everything. Um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a college graduate, so I, I feel like I have the luxury to, to quit. Um, I play professional basketball. Um, so I've, I've, I understand the 10,000 hours thing. I thought a lot of people don't understand that concept. So as far as what we doing the YouTube in, I don't have a specific direction. I have so many people that look at me from so many different venues, from the basketball world, from me being motivational, from me being just a workout partner. So it's like, I don't have a specific area. So I don't think that I'm attracting, I guess, one type of clientele. So it's like, do I stick with you know, everything or do I just kind of like try to break it down? Well, I think just based on what you're saying, you, you do basketball, you do motivational speaking, you do training. Um, I think there's a world where all those work together. So, Absolutely. my friend, I, I'm pretty sure you know Vida Aida. Yeah. So, Vida Aida, he's really dope in terms of like parody basketball things, so collaborate with him. Or uh, Marcellus. Uh, what's Marcellus? Howard? Howard. I think so. Yeah. Um, so, looking at what they do as an example to what you can do. So, 
if it's collaborating with them doing the basketball, the basketball, or talking to people while you're dribbling the basketball. Like these are my techniques to go into the hole. These are my techniques when it comes to three pointing. Like you can break down what it is that you know about basketball because there's so many people that want to hear from you about that right there. So I would start start there and just see how that feels. Okay. That's that's great advice. And also, if you, I I would encourage you not to feel like you have to choose one of those paths. Um, when I did when I did YouTube regularly, I used to get asked all the time, like by um, you know managers and NCNs and people <laughs> would always ask me, like, give me your elevator pitch. Like, what's your what do you do? And I was like, I really can't give you one answer. I have many interests, and I don't think my channel is just one thing. Um, and what I will say about that is it's hard. The growth is hard. If you have one thing, it's a straight and narrow path, and people know what to expect, and they like that, and it's consistent, and it'll be easier for you to grow. Mm -hmm. But that being said, I think it is more rewarding to be able to do a broader mix of things. You'll have a lot more freedom as a creator in the long run. Um, and like we were talking about before, you'll be able to attract a whole just massive audience of people who are not just looking for one specific thing. So I think it's actually good. It might be difficult to, to start out and to really find your place, but I don't think you should try to cut anything out. I think it's good to have a mix. Okay, appreciate it. You're just going to add really quick. So how, how we were saying, like, don't break the bank and spend money on equipment, you might live, you might not live by Marcellus or Vida. That is something I would spend the money on, like taking a flight or a trip to make that in-person connection, gain knowledge, do that collaboration. That's the stuff that I would yeah. invest in. How would I even, like, get them to be like, hey, sure. Then reach out. <laughs> I would just, like, I'll make Marcellus do it. <laughs> Appreciate you. Appreciate you. <laughs> no, if, all you can do is reach out. It might not happen, but I'm saying if it does, like take that chance. If they're like, yeah, if you can meet me, because chances are they're not going to be like, yeah, I'll come to your house. But if you can meet them on a trip or like where they're doing a meetup or something, that's, first of all, the stuff you guys coming here are already coming to play this and sitting in this panel. Like, that's already, you know, good stuff. So you're already taking it serious and just think about those expenses. And it doesn't matter whether it's on social media or just to a friend who needs your help. I feel like you can spread that positivity. 100%. Well, I'm going to support you guys on your journey. No, you didn't mean the mic? Yeah, I mean. Uh, hey, y'all. Uh, uh, first, first of all, I, I think you're gorgeous. I, 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 just, I, just, I just gotta tell you that. Um, secondly, I want to uh, just touch on what you said. Um, I used to think that suicide was, was a mental weakness. To be honest, I used to think I, I I never really thought that it was something that um I could attest to until you know so happened I had that had that same type of mindset at a certain point. Um, I just started my YouTube channel maybe 11 months ago. Um, my third video was touching on the suicide topic. Um, I didn't think it was going to touch anybody. I didn't think it was going to make a point. Uh, later, maybe three weeks, four weeks later, I got about 15 DMs and people told me because of my video. They chose not to end their lives. Um, awesome. it, 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 it meant a lot to me. <laughs> um, it meant a lot to me. The only thing about it is that I feel like I didn't think that my video would have that much of an impact, and I feel like more people need to see it. So it's like, how do I, uh, how do I get it out there? How do I just make sure that people are, you know, feel what I, what I felt or feel at the moment? Do you have any tips? That's um, a great question. So keep doing what you're doing, like everyone's, as I said before, everyone starts somewhere, you've made that leap to start, so that's great, mm -hmm. and just keep rolling with it, and slower and slower, you're gonna build up that audience who really cares about what you're talking about, and they can wait to, you're gonna help more and more people, so that's really good. Okay, appreciate it. I have some tips for you, Jason. Uh, yeah, 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 I was just gonna mention that, that last question, that no matter what your topic is, depending on whatever it is, there's always gonna be one person, at least one person who relates to it, that may just see your content and it's going to turn into a domino effect and they're going to tell other people who are going through whatever the topic is and sooner or later your uh, your content will get out there so you know just continue to, to post and talk about whatever topic you enjoy or want to talk about and it, it will get out there i appreciate it i like to i mean reaching out to organizations where you think that could be a great video example um for them to use as a way to help others, like even though specifically nonprofits, organizations are very specific with their messaging, but I would say like seed it to like, if there's blogs about mental health, maybe they could pick it up. If there's organizations like 
maybe you will repost it or retweet it or maybe upload it themselves and say, this is a great example of someone sharing their story, share yours. So like seed it to places and I would say organizations, nonprofits, and publishers that speak on those issues that would want to repost it themselves or just share it. And then also if you see other creators, and it could be huge ones or more like, you know, um, micro influencers or mid-tier mm -hmm. who are also sharing about mental health, being like, you really inspire me, here's my story. If you can, you know, if we can all like, you know, help save lives together, that'd be great. You know, that's also a way to get people's attention to repost the video. Okay. And why don't you get the ad council to help you? Oh, yes, and that goes back to the conversation. The point of like, I'd say panels or conferences like this where you're meeting other people who are using dig digital in the social impact space mm -hmm. and that they can exchange info. So whether it be that video or future videos you want to get out there, they can all, you know, reshare. Like I rather, you know, like I rather reshare a video around social impact or things that are personal, impactful, and that can change lives than just a, a comedy video is great and I love laughing. But like I'm more apt to share something where I'm like, wow, this is authentic, this is real, this could help people. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, we, um, we want to talk to people like yourself mm -hmm. and we want to share your story. Okay. So we have a thing called This Is My Story. Um, we have a blog. And um, it's really, really important that we hear you because you're you're awesome, and I'm, I'm and you're going to touch someone. And um, so I, I'd be honored to have your story on our uh, on our website. So I appreciate that. I'll give you my card in a second. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Real action. That's amazing. Can I just say, like, you're incredible for sharing your story because. What I found working on this campaign um, at the Ad Council is that men don't really talk about mental health, um, and that's a big problem. And they need role models, people who are opening up and taking the stigma away to feel like they can open up to other people, like what Michael Phelps is doing, and yeah. you know what you're doing is all kind of contributing to helping other people open up to, and specifically men who are less likely to talk about mental health. So Appreciate that. Yeah. You guys want to see the? You guys want to see the waterfall? Oh. Okay, y'all. For those wondering about playing this live, it's an amazing event. You know. Can I be in the vlog? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. What's up? Hey, I'm gonna move up. Ah. Ah. Hey. Yep. Oh, what's up? Y'all can say whatever y'all want. Hey. Introduce hey. yourself. Where's Raleigh go? Okay, I'm Jillian. I'm Wendy. I'm Raleigh. I'm Carly. We're out here. <laughs> Orlando. No. You got this on her? Uh, no. Illinois. Yeah, she's from Virginia. I'm in Illinois. Don't try and make y'all comfortable. How many stuff we got? Right now, 200. I'm about to go subscribe. Look. Like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below. Comment down below. Yeah, give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Right. Okay. Back to what I was saying. Playlist Live is an amazing event. But honestly, it's what you make of it. You know, I'm seeing a lot of creators out here. I don't know any of them. You know, I just see who everybody's flocking to. But for the most part, it's what you make of it. You know, it's a networking scheme. You know, make sure everybody out here, you know, knows who you are. By the end of the day, try to get as many people in the vlog as you want. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting because everybody's watching you vlog while they're vlogging. So, YouTubers are YouTubing YouTube for YouTube. <laughs> you know, for the most part, but keep y'all updated. All right? Thank you.
Wait, I, I'm, I'm kind of scared, so yeah, I don't worry about it. Like, I don't really yeah, want to hold it. Do whatever you want with the camera right now. Is she tired? Yeah. I've never vlogged. Never vlogged. Is it filming? I like that. Oh, we're here with the best YouTuber in the game right now. Best YouTuber in the game. He's up next. I swear. Up next. My man right here. Subscribe and like. Subscribe and like. I don't know what else to say. If you see the video, please don't go to like for you. Subscribe. Hi, Bob. Appreciate it. I'm Time playlist live. This is type lit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> this sound like Cardi with the braids.
Just, just, give me, just give me some space. Just give me some space. Give me some space. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm in front of Walt Disney, yeah. Welcome to Walt Disney <laughs> World. Okay, let me get out of here before security come get me. Florida, what's up? Look at them, messing up the party. Calling the cops. Don't want us to be great. Look at them. They're standing on the terrace. Making complaints. Built like SpongeBob. Built like Patrick. Built like Peter Griffin. Built like Homer Simpson. They don't want us to be great, but they want to watch these kids down here enjoying themselves. Look at them. Look at what you're looking for. I hear you, Quagmire. They build like the horn monsters. So you want to play? Look at them. Look at them. Just, just hating. They called the cops on all of us, man. They don't want us to be great. Now they want to run. Okay. <laughs> YouTube fam, let me tell y'all something. When I tell you, I had Playlist Live jumping. I mean, listen, I know y'all done seen it all. Y'all done seen it. So if y'all seen it, no, I had it jumping, man. I had it rocking. This is what you guys are gonna expect from Playlist Live. I mean, for all those wondering what it is, what you make of it. And trust me, <laughs> made a hell of a weekend of it, man. Today's the last day of Playlist Live 2019 Orlando. I hope you guys have had a great time with me, a great time at this event. I'm telling you, this is where you guys gotta be at. If you wanna be a YouTuber, if you wanna be something else, it doesn't matter, you gotta be here. I hope you guys had a great time with me. I'm about to go to my last panels, meet a couple of great people, B.A. About to get you, but for the most part, I'm gonna be catching my flight soon. You know, up north, back to the cold, with all the snow, no more palm trees, no more nothing. All right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, hello, YouTube world. I'm Darwin D. Dodo. This is Christine. <laughs> <laughs> we're at Playlist Live. We are. We're having fun. Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm definitely having fun. I'm, awesome. I'm really having fun now. Oh, good, <laughs> good. We're waiting for a panel about how to grow your YouTube channel. Right, that's it. I think that's it, yeah. How to grow your YouTube channel, build and your brand and create content that stands out. It's a very long title. Yeah, very long very, title. Very, very long title. Yeah, we, need it, we need it all. We Hopefully need it all. it's full of good information. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> that's
What's good, world? It's your boy B down with my main man right here. Shout out to this is what they don't see. I need some of that gear. I gotta start rocking this Nike and stuff. I need some of that, man. Give me your right. Thank you, bro. Yeah, shoot me a text. Yeah, I promise you. Yo. Let them know what we doing, yo. Welcome to Playlist Live. This is a big, this is a great idea. Next year What's that, 2020? Yeah, nah, it's 2020. Yeah, that is 2020. 2020? 2020. 2020. Good, lit, lit. Playlist freaking live, man. I want to say thank you for having me out. I want to let you guys know I had an amazing time. I met a, a lot of great people, as you can see. Uh, man. Man. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Count your blessings, y'all. I miss so many great YouTubers. I got so many collaborations coming up. I got so much coming for you guys. I hope y'all stay in tune. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, y'all. Don't wait. Don't wait. We need that content now, y'all. We need y'all now. Support that now, man. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. Your life could change in a year. Your life could change in a year, y'all. Make sure y'all go on to chase them dreams, man. Don't be stuck in them nine to fives. That's not what you want to do. You can always go back to that. Chase these dreams, y'all. Chase them. Go get them. Ain't nobody going to give them to you. You got to go get them. You heard that? Got to go get them, man. I want to appreciate everybody for the support. I want to appreciate all the love I've been getting. Whether you like the kind of, whether you like the post, whether you don't like the post. Whether you like the video, whether you don't like the videos, you know, I just want to thank everybody for their their take, you know, in my journey for this YouTube, you know. I'm about to head back to New York soon. Flight got canceled, so. <laughs> Over and out. Okay. Hi, hey! hey. <laughs> Where are you from? Yeah, come up to the city, I gotta make sure y'all look in. Okay. Alright? Okay. Good meeting y'all. You too.